Would you believe it, folks? It is already 6 p.m. or 6.01 p.m. Who knows? On the 1st of July, it's time to say goodbye to the Shark IC160 Cordless Duo Clean. See how it's done. Do the filter reveal, because yes, that is the same piece of tape. And find out what we're going to use for July. Let's have a look. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, happy first of the month to you. How are you today? Yes, it's been quite pleasant using the shark, I'll be honest. I can see why they are so dreadfully popular. I really can. It's been very nice to use. It has felt just like using an upright vacuum cleaner, quite honestly. Just a small, little upright no cord it picks up bits phenomenally well with some caveats and yeah hasn't broken for a month i'm amazed not for the want of trying though here is the bag of tools which i have kept hanging to one side but i'll be honest all i've used is this this is a lovely tool far nicer than the one that dyson do because it's flat so you can just sweep around i've we've used that an awful lot and the crevice tool. The problem with this is that it's not very good at edge cleaning or front cleaning at all. It Because it seals itself in to pass all of the EU regulation and stuff. And this front roller forms a complete suction dam. It doesn't pick the bits up from around the edges. So you do end up running around quite a lot with the thing in wand mode. Come on, up. In wand mode catching up with the edges and then having to put it away. Something which I haven't had with the other vacuums, and I'm not saying the other vacuums in terms of brand, i.e. ones that haven't got the duo clean. It's a lovely system for like some stuff, but it's pretty awful for others. So yeah, none of the other tools I have frankly touched. I really wish I had a turbo brush, but that's about the only real caveat. Let's break the machine down so that we can fit it a bit more on camera. The way the wand releases is beautiful. That is really nice and having this little little thing to buzz around is very, very good indeed. These buttons feel incredibly fragile and indeed they are. You have to push in a very precise way and the amount of handles you see on eBay with that just completely missing tells me that all will not last very long. Although, yeah, in terms of the way the tools fit in it's not it's starting but it's not too bad i've seen the corded shaft written off by that very issue so if you actually let's take off the bin which is quite full i'd say in fact it's no it's half full what happens look is all the dirt sits in here and i've i have clogged this up a little bit and here's a case in point look there is a piece of blue roll there but all of the dust, this is just one of those, there you go, that, it's just caked on and you can rub it off in chunks. It really kills the suction dead. And yeah, if, if the dirt won't plop down into the bottom bit, it just sits in there and gets in the way. As you can see, these bits just look horrific and the only way to get rid of that is a full wash. And as you can tell, look all inside of there. Oh, it's just full of dust. I haven't done any DIY. I don't do that. I rent my house. I can't. So yeah, that's that's good, isn't it? Let's let's put that to one side and we'll we'll have a closer look at the bottom because there's issues with this as well. One of the things I noticed about the machine is that of its three settings, which is carpet, hard floor, and suction boost, they all use the same amount of power. It isn't like on other cordless machines, my Dyson V11 being an example where you, know, you can tell that you've knocked it down to Eco to get an extra half an hour out of it. Whereas this, I, I, I forgot to change it a lot of the time. I would just use it on, oh, blimey, 
Oh, I've got to put the bin back on to push the... Hang on. So I have it all in a certain way. Yeah, I found myself just having it on normal because you get a little bit of boost on hard floor mode, but then it starts to brush roll down so much. I found that just leaving it on normal, the brush roll kicked the dirt up the thing a bit better rather than relying on its suction. Boost on tools is quite nice. But no, the biggest issue is, is that I don't have long hair. It's pulled all that up from the carpet. And I've never had any, you know, the Dyson's not done that in the two years I've had it. Look how filthy all that is. It's all matted up. There's stuff caught behind it. And the only way to get all this off is to fiddle it. You can't just pull the brush roll out without, you know, severe dismantling, severely dismantling the whole thing. If you pull this out, our epoxy resin seems to have held. Ooh, look at that. There's a big clump of grass where they cut the lawn. Oh, it's a bit of cardboard, look. There we go. All in there is pretty grim. But yeah, our little repair held up well. Bear in mind that I've caught this on the edge of the rug when it pulls the very edge in and it makes a sickening sound. And that's probably what kills these off. And that's probably what snapped that in the first place. So yeah, I've got to spend some time and clean all of this up. And yeah, I've, I've, I've had that with a lot of other machines. I've, I'd best take that off as well. Which is, <laughs> but we had the GoPro on it at the beginning of the month. <sighs> take out the battery. I've, I'll be honest, I've just charged it by plugging the jack in there. I haven't bothered to do much else. It needed quite frequent charging. I'm, obviously, this is not a new machine. And I'll get, like I say, 10 uses out of it. And by 10 uses, I mean, you know, pushing it around and doing a little bit fancy here and there. But again, this brings me back to my saying about the power settings. You don't actually use any more or less power with any of them. They just change the settings. You've either got the motor running at its full capacity or you've got the brush roll running a bit slower, but the motor a bit faster. It, I, yeah, I think it's just... That's what's going to kill the run time a little bit. We'll take the post filter out now. And it's a bit grim. I haven't opened this all month. But equally, it's not billowing out dust at all. Inside of there is quite dusty. But the big thing that I want to know is what's the filter line? Because I have noticed a little drop in suction. I've been itching to do this. But... Obviously, didn't. Oh, look, all the stickiness has come off where it's been on for so long. Yeah, have noticed a little bit of a drop in suction. Oh, my word. Oh, my goodness. That is... I got, I got a, you get a sneak peek of that from looking at the state of all of this. And, yeah, just one month of use in my house. Not as my only cleaner, either. The problem with these machines, cordless and corded, they work well when they work, but I would want to wash this once every fortnight to keep it happy. And yeah, that is something that the other cordless machine that I have just does not do. It does make it sort of dirty, granted, and you can really mess it up by doing a few bits with it, but just for normal use. I'm not happy with that at all. It's you know, There's a lot of dust in there. And it will be transformed once I wash that up. And give you all a good clean out. And work out what the heck to do with it. Because yeah, quite frankly. Now that we've got to this stage. I don't care about this anymore. It is a very good cleaner. Would be interested to try. Maybe I should put it on my wish list. But it's a bit expensive. So I won't. One of the anti-hair wrap ones. Because blimey. If it does that just based on. The carpet that I have, I can see why people don't like them and complain about having to get the hair off. Because that is wrapped around there well. And yeah, they probably did the anti-hair up just to stop it doing that. And even then it doesn't work very well. And I don't even have hair. Crikey. Not had that before. Even when my, part, my ex-partner used to live here. We didn't have it that bad at all. So, put this back together. It's been good. I'm very glad that I didn't spend out on a get in. Oh, ooh, ah. 
Come on, put it back together. I'm glad I didn't spend out on a brand new one a little while ago. I was getting a little bit trigger happy. The old V11 was a bit boring. So, yeah, I did nearly buy one, but no, I'm very glad I didn't. For the £30 that I paid for this, it's definitely worth that. If you ask someone on eBay, you might get lucky and be able to fix that. But, no, still think of them as beautiful to use, really good designs, but ultimately, they're nowhere close. They're just another cheap, generic, bagless cleaner. Oh well, never mind. On to the vacuum that we're going to use next. And we'll leave the dirt exactly where it was from the shark because we will soon be cleaning it up. And this month I'm going to use something that is probably quite suited to my small house. The same as the shark was really. But you know, a little bit bored of the compromises of the corner. So we're going to step it up a little. We're going to go back to a corded machine but a corded machine that in the uk at least is quite rare none of the stuff i'm showing you here right now is especially rare but this bit is i'm going to use the dc 46 allergy power k the one with the ch rather than the gb at the end of it yes i am having a think and more importantly, it was on my spreadsheet, and I've not actually paid attention to the spreadsheet. And I write up every year, normally know what I'm going to do, but this year I haven't been paying any attention. But this, I am. And yeah, it is a little diddy micro cleaner. You've seen the before video, you've seen the after video a while ago, so there's no point in dwelling too much. Although, a slight point of note is that you'll see it is now sporting a three pin uk plug and yeah when i had those dc 47s i pinched the entire cord from it and in fact the whole cord reel dropped and swapped around so yeah i now have because otherwise i had to use the adapter and it was just a little bit of an annoyance so yeah we have a nice uk cable now on our machine and i don't have to use an adapter that was that was quite important. I think, yep, there is a filter in here. Let's check if it wasn't. Crikey knows where that will be. I would say we got some dirt in there, but we haven't. That white line there is where the plastic moulds around. I don't think I've used this since I've refurbished it. And, oh, I've got to be careful of that. Oh, it's not going to be nice. Hopefully once it's been used, it'll not be as sticky. No, I don't. Yeah, bar the after video. That's it. Doesn't smell, which is nice. So I can't use it too much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> because if I remember rightly, the inner gasket is not fab and a lot of it is silicon sealant now. So not going to be using it extensively, but you know, it can be used lightly, lightly domestically. And worst case, a new cyclone itself isn't going to be horrific because. They're the same cyclone that we got elsewhere. I think it even still works. Oh, wow. Well, that works better, better than I thought it would. And it even spins up the carpet. Well, that could be quite cool. I mean, it's going to take all day to, to do. But yeah, spins up very nicely. But I'll be honest, what... I am more looking forward to, because I love this head, is using the Dyson flat-out head. 
because again, I, I have a mixture of flooring. It's just a very nice tool. It's a very nice tool indeed. I mean, it skims the carpet of trees. It's not a deep cleaning floor head by any stretch, but it, it does pick the bits up. What I do remember that I don't like though are these tools, mainly this hateful excuse for an ergonomic handle. It's really loose, it's really baggy. I slightly regret it already, but hey, Phoenix, we started recording now. We'd better carry on. Because. Got to update you about the Dyson V11. Because the Dyson V15 is now out and many other influencer type YouTubers who have spent the last three years saying how this is the best thing that they've ever used. And yet here's me struggling to get into shop. I set this up wrong. They're now getting rid of theirs and selling them to buy the V15 because apparently it's better in a few ways. And it probably is. But... I'm not going to get one, at least not right now, you know, as I stand, because this does everything I want. The problem is, you see, is that the V15, one of its features is this. I'm facing completely the wrong way. Obviously, it's got the LED on it, and the problem is I never use this, ever. I've set my house up to be... Where's it gone? Where's the talk head gone? Ah! I've set my house up to be really, really good with the high torque head and it is a lovely head and all they've done on this apparently is add the anti-hair tangle thing to here and contrary to the state that the shark was in just a few moments ago i've never had that with this the big bus roll has been enough to just have everything go up and away and it, it, it doesn't snag on carpet fibers either a lot of that stuff is the edging from this rug Whereas this brush roll is big enough that it, it's, it starts to curl around, but doesn't, and doesn't snag. This could be a pain, but being air driven, in fact, yeah, look, it, it already is, but you can forgive this because it's very old. These don't have a chance. So yeah, I'm not seeing any benefit from the, you know, fluffy head, to be honest. Um, particle counter, I've had hoovers with auto sense before, and it is fun. Until I just get the idea, I mean, you won't get it with digital mode, so it's going to work there. But I've always felt this sounds like the motor's running a bit dodgy, especially on, you know, older brush to star motors. But it wouldn't do anything for me anyway. Half what I pick up is bird seed or bits of paper or peas anyway. So it's going to say it's big. And yeah, I've refurbished this. This is now back to being brand new inside and out. So I don't want to drop it in the next couple of weeks, like I did before, will be all right. I put the filter through the washing machine, which and I got the tip from somebody who I never thought I would get that tip from, because it's not the approved manufacturer's way of doing it, but it did work. And yeah, my V11 is now back to being in the condition it was when we bought it, when we unboxed it all those years ago. And yeah, I did have to think to myself, I'm not an influencer. I'm not really a reviewer. I'm just a bloke who likes vacuum cleaners. Oh, that's a bit stiff. Occasionally gets them a little bit wrong. And, you know, I like this V11. It does what I want it to do. I'm very bored of it. I mean, it does just work incredibly well. And the problem with just working incredibly well is it's a little bit boring. So, who knows? I probably won't get rid of it even if we do replace it, but I don't know what's going to happen. But it is going back into circulation. I got rid of it temporarily to give it a refurb, whilst I used the shark in order to not get, you know, waylaid and just use the Dyson. But now that I'm back to this, I don't always use the cordy cleaners. If I've got 10 minutes before a meeting, I'll put the kettle on to make a coffee and buzz around with the Dyson, chuck it away again, and that'll be that for a couple of days. It's nice to have it around. I do prefer it over the shark as much as it's probably just as unreliable, just as badly built. 
it is better and coats with dust better as well. So there we go really, happy first of the month. I'm looking forward to using the little Dyson. Hopefully we'll be all right. Hopefully we won't have any catastrophes. Hopefully it will pick up and this head will not spin itself to destruction as they can do. And yeah, we'll see how it goes next month. So as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I and this stuff will see you soon. Bye bye.